airmen from Nellis Air Force Base and Air Force recruits from the local community were given the chance to flex their muscles at this year's Mr. Olympia in Las Vegas. Competitors faced off in a contest of strength, endurance, and mental toughness to see who would win the first Air Force Extreme Fit Challenge. My favorite is always when we see a kid that you know it's not really physically possible for him to do the obstacle, but he stays there until he gets it done, and it was just in his head to get it done, not in his body, and that's always what impresses me the most is when someone stays there and just keeps trying over and over again, and they're always willing to uh, make themselves a little bit miserable just for the fun of it. My legs felt like jello. Uh, climbing over the rope wasn't so bad, but then when, once I got to the top, uh, it was pretty high up there. Never been able to do a full-on uh, muscle up. Chicken winged it up over. Um, after that, the ropes, uh, climbing across, that was pretty challenging. But uh, once I got to the end of it, my hands were just tired. However, the one that seemed to be the hardest was uh, the upside down wall. I had to take off my shoes and uh, ninja my way up there. Uh, after that was the, the running up the wall. That one took me two tries, but after that, I got it. It was definitely a challenge, but I loved it. We're out here, we're trying to help show that, you know, the fitness is important to the Air Force, that we're out here talking to Special Forces people. The Special Forces out here, it's a great event. Thankful for Mr. Olympia for setting this up for us, and really great, grateful for all they've done for us. The Air Force Extreme Fit Challenge quickly gained a reputation for being one of the most physically demanding obstacle courses at this year's expo. Absolutely horrible. It also showed the public what it really means to be fit to fight. Airman First Class Rachel Maxwell, Las Vegas, Nevada.